It is Friday night on the rally, spring style. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Max. I'm Frank Vassalero. He has never played a high school basketball game, and his school has a bit of a Prince fingerprint. Aaron Gill came to Minnesota from Indiana. He enrolled in the public charter high school for recording arts in St. Paul, a school founded by one of Prince's good friends, David Ellis. They help encourage kids to explore music and get an education. Gill also has some skill on the basketball court. Maybe enough that could help define what could be a bright future. Practice time for the Grassroots Basketball Program. A place where a mixture of talent and demographics gather. From the suburbs to the inner city. 70% of the kids that I draw are inner city based kids who come from nothing. He's got a project this season. His name is Aaron Gill. He's never played a high school game. Grew up in Indianapolis. The youngest of five boys, the first four have struggled. And me looking up to them, you know what I'm saying? And they all end up becoming felons, you know what I'm saying? Growing they up like that. Jail? Yeah. Types, all of them? Yeah. The key to his making it might not be on the court, but here, a public charter school in St. Paul, where he is under supervision to get his grades in order. I look at this school as a big opportunity because, you know what I mean? There's a lot of nice people here, and, you know what I'm saying? They, uh, dedicate their time to help us a lot. I think the individual attention that we have at this school is second to none. You know, look, I've had the teachers are so engaged with the kids that they have. He has been labeled a kid with the potential to learn. You know, when we had Aaron in for orientation, I assigned him to an advisor. Um, her name is Tiki. And her first impression was just off the charts. You know, here's, a, here's a, an intelligent young man who's ready to do the work that he needs to do. He is seen as scholarship potential, even Division I opportunities. Sandifer wants to lead him there. Kind of taking him in as a second son myself. And this is a kid who at night, you know, some days wouldn't know where he's going to sleep. Some days didn't know where he's going to eat. At the same time, he is trying to accept another responsibility. He will soon be a 17-year-old father. It ain't the right time for me to have a baby right now. No, sir. I don't, I don't I don't feel right now is the best time, but you know what I'm saying? I got to deal with that right now. So I accept my I accept my responsibilities. He's interested in music and this school offers a high end studio to study. Whatever the subject, it has to motivate him to the point it's part of his makeup. From the second um, I started working with Aaron, you know, you can see that he's humble, he's polite, he's intelligent. He's approachable. If he can figure that out, he can live his other dream. To get a scholarship, and he hopes beyond. I decided to dedicate my, my life to basketball. I would like to get a scholarship and be in the league someday, but you know, if that don't work out, then you know, I plan on just to get a scholarship in school for business and management or something like that, and you know what I'm saying, see where that go. Yeah, he's doing well so far, playing Good. the tournament as we speak. 